Welcome, you who are loved by God, to our final student-led chapel of the year. For the past year, the grade seven and eight students have been leading our chapel, and it's been great. It is wonderful to see you leading the way and teaching us what it means to be a follower of Christ. So today our final chapel is put on by the boys in grade eight. And once again, we'll be talking about what is faith? I hope you thought about this week. What kind of faith do you have? Do you have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ? Is he your Lord and Savior? I sure pray he is. Now, before we begin our chapel, let's begin in the best possible way. Let's talk to our Father in heaven. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we come to you at the beginning of this chapel. Lord, we want to give you glory and honor. We thank you for the year that we've had. We thank you, Lord, for our teachers. We thank you for our parents. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the students that have led this chapel. We ask, Lord, that in our final chapel, that it will be pleasing unto you, that your name will be glorified. And Lord, I pray that the seeds will be planted in every student here at Karen Christian School. I pray, Father, that all our boys and girls will grow up to love you and to make you their Lord and Savior. Lord, we ask all this in your son's name. Amen. So today is the final day of class instruction. Thank you for being part of us. Thank you for the work you put into it. I can't wait to see you on Wednesday as you drive by and wave goodbye to all the staff. We miss you. We're looking forward to seeing you Wednesday, Thursday, celebration of learning. But in the meantime, let's praise God! Woo! Hello everyone and welcome to the Boys Chapel. Today's chapel is about faith and we are looking closer at some individual events and people that showed faith. Now, many people have different views on faith, but look at how the Bible defines faith. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now this verse defines faith as trust. The words faith is being sure of what we hope for means that we need to trust God to have faith. So people don't think that trust is a big factor in our lives. But it, is re but it really is. If there wasn't trust, we wouldn't be living happy lives. This proves how important it is to fully trust God. Now here's a video with people doing the actions to every beat. Jesus left the glory of his throne to bring us back home. Every beat is calling us back to Jesus. He is the reason that we are breathing. He is the one that saved us from death. Let's sing to God again in singing every beat.
By faith we see the hand of God. We try to fix our lives on Him, but that's not always the easiest thing to do. We will do our best to finish the race and try to do God's work. Let's praise God in singing the song by faith.
we just heard the song by Faith. That song is a great reminder of what Faith can do. Faith can pretty much do anything. All we have to do is believe in the Lord. Now we're going to be hearing about another person who believed in the Lord and found the things Faith can do. Let's listen to two stories about Abraham and how he found his faith. Hey there. I was planning on telling you guys about the Abraham story, but while I was reading it, it was kind of confusing. So I decided, why don't I make the Abraham story modernized? So here it is, the modernized Abraham story. I hope you enjoy. In the land of Ur, there once lived a man named Abram. Abram was a very religious man. One day, God said to him, Go from your country to the land I will show you. So Abram, his wife Sarai, and his nephew Lot packed up their things and left. As they were walking, a fight broke out between Lot's gardener and Abram's gardener. Abram suggested that his group of people and Lot's group of people should split up. Abram told Lot that Lot's group could choose where to set up camp, either in the field or the water. Lot's people chose the field, leaving Abram's people to be in the water. Because of this act of kindness, God changed Abram's name to Abraham. One day, God told Abraham to take his only son Isaac and leave him on a mountain. At first, Abraham did not want to, but he also didn't want to question God's judgment, so he did it anyways. So Abraham took his only son Isaac to a mountain. He told Isaac to wait there, and he was going to go gather some food. But as Abraham walked away, God said to him, Abraham, because of your great faith, you and all your descendants shall be blessed for the rest of their lives. Abraham proved many times that he was a righteous man, even though he messed up sometimes. He showed faith through compassion when he let Lot pick the better land, and he showed faith through perseverance when he brought Isaac up to a hill where he would be sacrificed. Abraham is a role model for all of us because he had faith in God, and he often showed the people around him things like compassion or collaboration, which are both character traits that we are encouraged to show at school. So next time you're having a problem and you don't know what to do, Try thinking of how Ab to show faith like Abraham. Abraham had faith, even though he had no idea what was going to happen. He also trusted in God, knowing that he was going to do the best for him. Let's look at our bottom line. I can show faith by trusting in God. Let's look at our memory verse for this week. Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Let's pray. Dear God, Think that we could come to this day to worship you. Even though we're not here together in person, we thank you that we have technology that we can still learn and have chapels together online. Please be with our school community. Please give us endurance to finish school well. Please with the families that haven't been affected by this pandemic with job loss and sicknesses. We thank you for our teachers that have worked so hard to keep learning happening in our school. It was not easy for us as students or teachers or parents, but we thank you for being with us this whole time. We pray for our world in this pandemic. You, God, are the ultimate healer, and we pray you heal our land. We pray that in the September, we will be able to go back to school and see our friends and teachers again. Lord, you didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. Help us not to fear. Give us faith to believe that the Bible says to believe and take heart even in this world. We may have trouble, but you have overcome the world. Please help everyone stay safe and stay healthy. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we end the chapel, I have a question for you. How can you grow in faith? How can you grow to be more like Jesus? Well, you could read the Bible. You could pray. You could even just talk about God with someone like your parents. Or you could try to make your life like the fruits of the Spirit. You could show perseverance by being with your siblings all the time, like we are right now. You could show curiosity by enjoying your backyard. You could just smile and be joyful. Because when you keep doing these things and applying them to your life, it stops becoming a chore and starts becoming normal. So ask yourself, how can I grow in faith? And then do it. Because pretty soon, you won't even need to think about it.
is trusting in God no matter what happens. Sometimes it can be hard to trust God, but it is important to trust God no matter what you do. To me, faith is believing in something even though you can't see it. For example, Christians show faith by believing in God, even though we can't see Him. But you can also show faith by having faith that a sick sibling will get better, or having faith that you'll have a good day. All these are ways that we can show faith. Faith is knowing that God is there for you, that He will never leave you or forsake you, that He is our Father and loves us and cares for us. My favorite Bible verse about faith is 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7. We live by faith, but not by sight. It's short, but has a lot of meaning. It tells us that what we see in front of us is not always the truth. The only truth is in Jesus. Follow him and you will be saved. If we live in faith, we lead a better life than we would if we lived by sight. To me, faith means trusting in God, even though we can't see him. This could be hard sometimes, but we know that if we trust in God and believe in him, that he can do all things. Faith to me is believing in God even when we can't see him, trusting he's listening even when he doesn't answer right away, and trusting that he loves us even in the hardest of times. Faith in God can move a mighty mound. Faith can calm a troubled sea. Faith can make a desert a fountain. Faith can bring victory. God is with you wherever you are. Have faith. Thank you.